Family, welcome or welcome back to Clean Draws. My name is Darius and I love to draw. So really quick, I want to establish something. For those of you who have been with me since the beginning, what, like a month or two months ago, I said that I would crank out a video every week. And looking back, I kind of spoke prematurely. Just like every other content creator, I was excited. I thought that I can do it and I kind of underestimated the amount of time and labor it takes to provide content. I work eight to five, Monday through Friday. And after I get home, I spend time with my wife and my kid. I put him to bed. I'm spent. With that being said, I want to readjust my commitment and do something every other week. That gives me enough time to create art, to record, to edit, and to publish or to schedule it to push out in a healthy amount of time so that I can give you all the quality that you and I both deserve. Another problem I had was last month was Black History Month. And I thought about it, I was like, this is the perfect time to express two of my favorite things, being black and professional wrestling. I toyed with the idea of who I would do, whether it was Cedric Alexander, one of my favorite wrestlers, Charlotte Native. He is um, the current WWE Tag Team Champion, um, former Cruiserweight Champion, and technically the first African-American to win a championship at WrestleMania, technically. Or I thought about doing one of our truth okay, quick. K Crush, Run the True Killings, however you know him as. Arguably the most decorated African American pro wrestler today. He was the first African American NWA heavyweight champion. He was 24 7 champion, WWE tag team champion, NWA and TNA tag team champion, United States. The list goes on. And he's still going at it today. Excellent job phenomenal wrestler, still kind of underrated. But by the time I started totally knowing the other people I could do, I realized that February had come and gone. But luckily, I was blessed with March being Women's History Month. So now I have being black, professional wrestling, and women being able to merge all in one. And the first person I thought of was Bianca Belair. She is a still fresh uh, black professional wrestler that started from WWE NXT, the first African-American woman to win the Women's Royal Rumble with the record of the longest surviving woman in the Women's Royal Rumble. So she's a big deal, uh, check her out. However, I didn't think that it was enough for me to just draw her or to paint her. And I remember that she not only wrestles, but she creates the ring attire that she wrestles in. So. I figured with her facing Sasha Banks at WrestleMania for the title, she would really want to do it big as she makes this impact and she would want her ring attire to represent how big of a deal it is. So I figured, why don't I design her ring attire for WrestleMania? And why don't I bring you all with me? So let's do it. Okay, so cards on the table, I have not thought about what type of theme I was going to go with with Bianca Belair's ring attire. So what I did is I created kind of like an outline of what her ring attire looks like. That way I can use it as a basis or a coloring book of what I want to do. Where I put the logos, what type of textures I put where, things like that. Kind of how just like a graphic designer or a fashion illustrator would do as far as um, thinking or fleshing out how their full layout is going to look. Okay, so for this design was the most basic um, or the simplest idea that I came up with, which was the WrestleMania thing. Um, this year it's gonna be in California and they're going with the pirate look. So for her tights, I did um, the tattered flag look wrapping or drape, wrapping around her tights. So as you can see right here, I am recreating the flag look that is on the main insignia for WrestleMania this year. Um, and, and of course, replicating that EST of WrestleMania because of course that's what she's kind of going for with her t-shirt design. But I'm just putting the main flag look on the front of the chest, giving it the tattered look. Um, again, not putting too much effort in it because it's the easiest approach. Um, and as I started to do it, I noticed that, yeah, it, it looked kind of Kane-ish. I know there was a time that Kane had uh, either black tights with red stitching or red tights.
idea, but it just dawned on me as I finished it, is that traditionally dark colors are associated with the bad guys or the heels in professional wrestling, and I doubt that Bianca would go this dark for her first uh, singles match for the championship at WrestleMania. Unless by then she's a heel, so who knows? But I also think this one's kind of basic for her and it's a bit on the nose. So I like it, but I'm gonna try some other options. All right, so I know already this one right here is gonna be a super stretch, but I decided to do it anyway, so here we go. As you'll soon to see, I am making her colors pink and green, and it is an homage to our current first black female vice president of the United States, who is not only a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, but was the first black female senator of California. Um, so I did that as a way of just like she made history um, on behalf of black women in California, so is um, Bianca Belair. Of course, there has been several other groundbreaking women in the organization, such as Mae Jemison, the first woman to go out in space. But I just wanted to um, bring light to our first vice president, um, again, because she is from California. And yeah, this John is a stretch, but I like pink and green. Um, and I liked the fact that this glitter look would be perfect for um, Bianca Belli. So whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I like it. All right, so for my final idea, I decided to theme her colors after Bianca's high school. For those of you who don't know, Bianca Belair is from Knoxville, Tennessee, and she went to a school called Austin East High School. There she you know, excelled in all of the sports from track to basketball. And I remember even hearing a story where she would play basketball for the girls. And then right after her game, she would change into a cheerleading outfit and cheerlead for the boys basketball team because she was a tumbler. I mean, it, it's amazing to know that she was so multifaceted at such a young age. And I really think that this is where she develops her roots into being this um, athletic groundbreaker. And this could be kind of a callback or an homage to where she came from. As she would be on this big platform, she can say, hey, this is who I am. This is where I came from. And it's, she could also pose as the totem or the, the representative or the, um, the, the, the idol, for lack of better terms, to those, kid, to those kids who also are striving to be somewhere and make it um, in sports or in, in whatever. You know, it would be anything for me to see someone excel from my high school my college or anything and to represent it externally as i do internally
It's always been tough for me as an artist because I always would like for a woman's uh, curvature to show um, muscular or not. And Bianca Belair is jacked. Like, she's in better shape than a lot of the other women wrestlers and that's nothing against them but she is a lifter she takes great great pride in her uh her body and her her physique and it shows but so i wanted to compliment that again getting both her beauty and her amazonian musculature so to speak Of course, I had to get down the. I had to get down one of the many iconic poses of um, Bel Air. Well, there it is. My three designs and my reasonings behind it. Um, one of which was a super stretch, but I had to put it out there. But the last one I was I was really proud of. Regardless of what I've made, I know that Bianca Bella is gonna come with it with the ring attire as she always does. And if she doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be um, a phenomenal match. Two women making history uh, on the biggest stage of them all. So I'm really looking forward to it. If I had to predict, I think it's gonna be Bianca Belair. But it doesn't matter. If you like the video, please like the video. If you want to support the channel and come along with me as I continue on this adventure of 
doing art and content creation, you can do so. It's completely free. I just need two clicks, the subscribe button and the notification bell, and it will let you know every time I post something on YouTube, which is gonna be every other week. All right, I appreciate you all for sticking around with me and I'll see you again. Peace.